Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 142 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Where we left off, Theo was just about to open the door and see what's on the other side. Alright, so, is this some guy on a crucifix? Well, no. It looks man-shaped, but we're going to learn it's not a man pretty soon. So, we hear a screaming voice as soon as we come in. Cuts into our ears. So, just bringing this into our field of vision, we're at a loss for words. So, just standing before this thing, our legs are shaking. And this incredible fear wells up from inside us. based on the flow of magic in this place. Well, we clearly understand the difference between us and the thing in front of us. Even if you could overturn the heavens, you wouldn't be able to measure up to this thing. An absolute difference of power here. What the hell is this? What is that? So, the pillar of light is coming from that. What is it? So, coming out of its body, flowing out of its body, is the great power we could see from so far away. This uh, light turned visible, extending to its heavens. So, the source of this pillar of light we've been searching for is this unknown thing. This is amazing. Just confronting it at all is stealing our breath away. Heel says there's lightning shooting across her skin. She really doesn't want to stay here. Well, yeah. Just being here, there's this overwhelming presence weighing down on us. So, that thing we just fought a few minutes ago seems pretty small in comparison to this. Whether that means actual size or obvious fighting power is one, is a open question, I'll say. So, we came here looking for a way to save Fia that might be sleeping in these wastelands. This is the center of the holy ground. The pillar of light spreading out through this facility and its true nature is this. No, well, thanks for the commentary, Avaro. And basically, he's just mumbling to himself. And as if it's trying to incite more anxiety in us, that thing screams again. <laughs> this, I guess is a close-up on part of it. Didn't think it would be visible from the outside. Ah, oh, geez, I've always berating himself here. He didn't use his head. He was just thinking about the spectacle in front of him, and he didn't think about what might be here. Well, this is impressive, though. So, what the hell is that? 
外装部分に魔石が出ているあれは神を封じ込めるためのものじゃねえのか So without a doubt it's a weapon Look at it on the outside there are those magic stones coming out Aren't those the things that are used to seal in gods? Yep, those are the magic stones we're used to seeing. We found Fia in one so long ago. And from it, now there's magic power just spreading out. And so, without a doubt, This is the same kind of construction as Guadalcuna Castle. Except on a greater scale. So, that's how it is. That is Lake Fia. A god that was captured and sealed by humans in the past. A sealed god. Observing it well, it's his upper body is protruding from magic stones. Some of those magic stones. So as he screams and struggles, from inside his body the power is being released. So it becomes these the pillars of light. Pillars of solid light and spreads out above and below. It seems like he's lost himself. No matter how you look at it, his demeanor is weird. He's not proper. So his spirit has gone crazy. Is that it? But our goddess here, despite being being sealed after a fashion herself, it's had no effect on her spirit. So how did it, this one come to be like that? It's true, Fia isn't like batshit crazy. Well, it could be that the construction here was different, the handling of it was different, or it could be that under certain circumstances, Fia could also end up like this. Yeah, at the current time, Fia has actually lost all the memory. When and under what conditions she could go crazy like this, we don't know. <laughs> oh, talk about optimistic, Alvaro. So, Fia, for her part, is closing, clenching her eyes shut and slightly shaking. Oh, stop it already. Huh. So, this god, suffering from being sealed in this weapon, moans and screams and tries to screw his body around. And as he does it, the magic stones crackle and pop and sway, but they hold fast. So, what's he trying to do up there? All this time. Don't tell me he's trying to forcibly break out of the seal of the magic stones. Well, yes, that's exactly what he's trying to do. As we can see, he's putting so much power in it that, into it that it seems like his body might tear apart. That's how much he wants to get free, but the seal is too strong. And his body can't get out. So he seems 
in so much pain. Okay, so can we free him from the seal? Well, if we can free Fia from hers, then it would probably be possible. But whether we should take action to free this god is not a conclusion we should come to yet. It's pretty important. So, what are you saying? It's bad to save him? Probably that god is not merely trying to run away from the, the seal, the magic stone seal he's in. The entire weapon, as you can see, has its movement sealed by those shackles that bind it. It could also be trying to escape from that. And it's true, we were only concentrating on the center. And if you look at the surroundings, that's, well, true. The weapon itself can't move because it's been sealed there. And not just with magic stones, but also with those shackles. And those chains are not merely physical bindings. They've also got the barriers within them preventing the motion of the weapon. The blood inside of Aro is telling him this. So, if it's sealed here, that means it's still functional. In other words, this is what the dark refiners were after in the Holy Ground. This is the weapon they want. Yeah, if he got on this hands, got his hands on it, Gaidal would certainly take control of, well, it and God knows what else. So if it is really made the same way as Gwalar Kuna Castle, it could really mess things up around here. And if you could manipulate it, destroying a country or two would be pretty easy. Well, scale-wise, looking at it, it's greater than Gualacuna Castle as a weapon, but it looks like it'd be hard to control. In fact, it'd be impossible to control with it, so with the god so crazed as he is. So if we released it in this state, what would happen is pretty clear. So the barrier that protected the god's haze at the same time as preventing any intruders from e entering also prevented this from leaving. That might be what another purpose it had. So the meaning behind the barrier the elves set up. The reason why they had this holy ground shut off for so long Ultimately, this is giving us an inkling as to all the reasons behind it. With something like this in the center, no wonder Fuchsia's, the Fuchsia faith didn't want to let anyone in. So 
so there are plants entwined across its old whole body. So perhaps the fact, so perhaps it is that on our way here, all those things that attacked us, the plants, the shells of, the shells of weapons, all those soldiers were all being manip, were all being controlled by this guy. Hmm, perhaps. If the pillar of light turned out to be this, then that would probably be true. So all the weapons we've seen so far didn't have gods in them, didn't have spirits in them. And still they were able to move. So they must have had a different power source. The solidified light that we saw. And it all came from here, in which case... That god sent those weapons up against us. Kept attacking us. Well, that they attacked us is, considering the state he's in, probably, they w weren't targeting us. They were just anything they could get in arm's reach, they reached out and destroyed. In other words, it's flailing about almost blind. So would that be why the God's Haze is so desolate? Yeah, in such a ruined condition. Like the limits of destruction this holy ground has been living under. That speculation may not be wrong. It looks like the main body can't move. So, just like that. No. No. I was thinking about something else. It looks like it can't move, so just like this. Should we move into that weapon and investigate? But, just being in this place, you get this overpowering feeling stabbing into your skin. In fact, if we didn't have a clear objective when we came here, we'd probably have run away already. So it might be a method of, fi of saving Fia we're looking for here. So, just so long as we don't get swallowed up by this thing, uh, Fia? <laughs> now I was going to ask Fia what she's thinking. So, taking a look at Fia. She has this saddened expression as she stares at the, the um, writhing god in the magic stones. No tool someone. So a father. Well, that's a surprise. Okay, hearing the words that Fia whispers, we're surprised and have all seizes up. <clears throat> Here we got twice as many words. Paraya Otolsama. That's a bit odd way to address your father, but sure. Maybe Fia was brought up like that. Anyway, this is Paraya and Fia's father. Fia, just now, what? Paraya, that's the name of this god sealed in the weapon. Uh, no, more than that. This god is father. Ho ho.
Sophia remembered. As she talks, she doesn't take her eyes off of the god in front of her. She keeps her liner sight fixed upon him. And she presses down her head. She's got a pale expression. And actually she's hyperventilating. Her breath is all out of whack. So she's remembered everything. The reason why she wanted to come here and the memories that she lost. She would like to tell everybody all about it, but so she gives out in the knees and starts falling. Avaro gets there just in time and supports her. So what is it? Don't tell me it's another headache. Yeah, somehow, all at once, all these memories that she couldn't remember started overflowing. So, remembering all these memories of the past, it seems it's having a strong effect on her body. Even before, attempting to remember this stuff would give her a headache, but it would go away quickly. Apparently this time, since she's remembering and not failing to remember, the burden on her body is much greater. And it doesn't seem like this particular headache is going to go away soon. I understand. Fia, if you've recovered your memories, let's take the time to confirm them. Let's once return to the castle and check the and check the circumstances. That's the best choice here. So hearing that plan, Fia, even though she her head is hurting so bad that she has to rub her hands on her temples, she tries her very best to push herself forward. Oh, well, but if we don't investigate this place, well, in this condition, even if we don't do it right away, the situation isn't going to change. Right now, rather than prioritizing the exploration, we need to get you some rest. Furthermore, you finally recovered your memories, haven't you? That's such a fortunate occasion. We should uh, take these recovered memories and review the circumstances with that, with them in mind. And so, first things first, before explanation, we need to hear your story. So that taboo weapon up there is bound down by the barriers, the seals, and can't move from here. So, even if we don't do this investigation of the holy ground here, and at the same time listening to Fia, we probably have plenty of time left. And even if we didn't, the thing we should priority is Fia's sa prioritize is Fia's safety. Avaro is her apostle after all, and we can't be pushing her when she's 
you know, on the brink here. Okay, Fia, let's return to the castle and conf and listen to everything you've remembered. All right. Yeah. She understands. So, father, sorry. Just wait a little bit longer. Okay? So, in that crazed uh, state, the uh, hmm. we take Fia out as her body is giving up on her and leave this present god behind us. In the back of Avaro's mind, the things that Fia said keep spinning through. Father, huh? Fia's father is the present god Pariah, who shows, who's been showing up in legends so far. So those whispered words, all of our allies keep thinking over and reacting to. So trying to get the handle on it, trying to think through its meaning, trying to get a grip on it. Everybody seriously keeps moving. So when we return to the castle, Fia is going to talk to us about the truth that she's received. Well, certainly, this too is somehow connected to the truth we're trying to find. So, Fia, even when she didn't have her memories, was trying to get to the God's Haze. And now we can piece all the information together. Or so we think. In any case, next time we do return to the castle and we see another scene upon entry. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time when we do so.